Hello, my lovelies. So, um, we're going to do a little kind of choppy sort of vlog today. Um, I thought I should probably put one out there because I haven't put a lot of stuff out this month. Um, February is a rough month for me. Um, it is my saddest time of year. Um, and I'm not sure why I'm, you know, maybe it's seasonal affective disorder. Um, you know, you don't get enough sunshine, but I live in Virginia, so we actually do get sunshine every couple of days, even in the middle of winter. Um, why is winter in quotes? We don't really have much of a winter down here. Um, you know, it's not a lot of snow and stuff, so, uh, but even then, I don't know, like, I haven't been out of the house in two weeks. I just didn't want to go anywhere. Didn't go to the gym. Didn't even go to the grocery store. I just... I didn't want to go anywhere. I didn't want to do anything. I don't know. It's February's like this for me. I'm very sad and I don't want to do anything. So for February, I watch too much television and I read a lot of books and I play video games and I generally just check out for a while. Um, I kind of check out a life and I don't participate all that much. <laughs> it's just, it's weird. Um, although according to some of my, uh, cherished college friends, they also, uh, have this, uh, some of them it's March or April for them is when they get, you know, sad and just weary, worn down, what have you. Um, and mine is all, it's February for me. Um, I know there are a couple of reasons. I have a couple of personal reasons why February is hard for me, but, um, yeah, this year's is worse. It's been worse this year. Um, last year, I was in the middle of my fly lady cleaning extravaganza, and uh, I was going to the gym every day. So it really helped because I had things to do instead of just sit and wallow in my misery. However, I have not done that this year. I have decided instead to just sit and wallow in my misery. Um, and I don't really have a any particular reasons that I should be miserable. I just am. It's one of those things, I guess. Um, I don't know. I'm just sad. Everybody gets sad sometimes. So any hoodles, that's why there has not been a lot of content this month. Just so you guys know, it's not that I have forgotten about you or I don't care. It's just, it's not a good month for me, peeps. That's all. Um, all right. So there you go. Alrighty. So next thing up is uh, somebody recently asked about putting together um, kind of a, a hairstyling or hairdo kit. Um, you know, what would I recommend for everybody out there who's getting into styling their own hair? So I did a little video in my bathroom to first of all show you all the crap I have and then what I would suggest that you may or may not need, um, you know, to kind of get started on your hairstyling journey. So let's cut that. Hello, my lovelies. So this is the second time recording this portion of the vlog today because I originally did it handheld and I was giving myself vertigo trying to edit it. So here's our second round and it's time I'm using a tripod so that it will be stable. All right, this is the portion where we talk about what I think you should have in your hair kit. Um, and I do admit that I'm not really sure um, <laughs> I didn't really start, uh, mucking about with my hair until it was long. So, I don't know. Um, as far as what you'll need to do most of my hairstyles, uh, you're going to need pins, uh, hair ties of various kinds, um, little tiny ones to large ones, you know, your preference. Um, some hair sticks would be good. Um, I do recommend everybody have at least one pair even if it's just two pencils or a set of chopsticks, which is fine. Um, yeah, not a lot. You don't really need a lot of stuff to do your hair. Um, I mean, if you want sparkly beadly bobs and things like that, then by all means get some. Um, but you know, they're not a necessity. I just like them because I like them. But I thought I would show you um, what I do have on hand to do my numerous things. So 
I guess it's kind of a tour of my hair stuff, which I have also had many requests for people to see what kind of stuff I have. So I guess we'll do that. So I'm going to move you around on this tripod now. Um, this is my bathroom. Mm -hmm. Put you down. Can you see me? You can see me. Hi. <laughs> so, um, yeah, when I get back here and tip you. Um, there was probably a bit of editing there. As you can see, my husband's side doesn't have a lot of stuff on it because, you know. Um, and then my side is just a ton of stuff uh, because it's me and I can't help myself. So, um, anyways, let's see if I can put you down a little bit. So, um, yes, I have various hair sticks. I have my really long one. This is a walk chopstick. Um, it's the one I usually use when I part my hair. Um, and this is an antique chopstick. One of my favorites. It's a great length for one stick styles. Um, and then this is a giant shot glass from North Dakota that my brother got me. And I'm never drinking that much booze, but it's great for hair sticks. As you can see, well, for example, look, this here Oh, if I can get it out without everything coming out, um, is an actual chopstick, like from the Chinese restaurant. The little packets, that's, ooh, camera, that's a chopstick, I just painted the end, but it is, it's just, it's a chopstick. Any hoodles, yeah, these big giant shot glasses are nice for hair sticks, easy for grab and go. Um, this was actually a present, a bridesmaid's present, but... I have it so I can keep my bobbies in it. Um, you really do need a good set of bobby pins. I get mine at Sally's Beauty Supply. These are the long ones. Um, these are the short ones. But I like them because they come in these tins, so they're really easy to grab and throw in your bag and go. So, yay. Um, clear elastics. I do recommend clear elastics. I like them. Um, this is nice. So my drawer is really well organized. Dun, 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 dun. Look, isn't that nice? Um, this is a drawer organizer that you usually put in your kitchen for forks and knives and spoons and that kind of thing. But why not put it in your bathroom drawer so that it's not a big junky mess? Um, I've got various, you know, clips and pins in the fat spot and underneath my prescriptions and stuff I have other hair sticks and things. But as you see, it's nicely organized so that I can find things when I need them. Yay! And then I have on the back of my door, uh, you can see my parandas. Ooh. All the way up there. Let's see, I can probably make you tall again now. Um, there's probably some editing. Uh, yeah, the back of my door, uh, this is the mirror where I try to keep myself in frame when I'm on camera. Um, but, uh, I have it organized in such a way, my parandas, uh, to keep them from getting tangled. I have this little, like, purse thing, and it's full of all my ribbons, and various ribbons and stuff. I like ribbons, so I have quite a few, um, but I have them in there. And then, I got one of these, uh, little, like, bracelet circle hooks. And I try to, I try to, as you see, I used to have a ton of ponytail holders and they all disappear because I don't put them back. I've been trying to put them back. Um, but that way they're all in one spot and easy to find. Um, and then I just took a scarf and knotted it and put my clippies on it so I would know where they are too. Um, organization is hard for me. Uh, and then I have my various pouches of, you know, sparkly bits to put in my hair. Um, yeah, like I said, just try and stay a little bit organized. Uh, makeup I don't use, and then stuff that is too big and doesn't fit anywhere else. Bun form, my moon, um, that kind of thing. Um, yeah. Do you need any of, like, you do, do you need a bun form? Um, I use them for sock buns. So, you know, you can make yours out of a sock. I got that one, I think, at Claire's, though, and it was pretty cheap, which is cool. But any hoodles, yeah, I think, um, 
Well, this is what I'll say. When I go on vacation or to see the family or whatever, of course, I do not take all of this stuff. Um, I'm going to be there, you know, maybe four days to a week or so. And uh, why drag everything with you? You're not going to do your hair all fancy every single day, I don't imagine. Um, but when I go, I always pack my own shampoo and conditioner. Um, I have to. I'm just too particular about it. Um, I pack my detangler, which is my Brazilian smooth or silk drops or, you know, whatever detangler you found that you like. Um, and I always pack my own hair dryer uh, because mine is old and very powerful. And nobody ever else has a, a hair dryer as good as mine. <laughs> so I have to pack my own. Um, even if sometimes I don't even end up drying my hair. But I have it just in case because it never fails that the one day, I, the one time I don't take it, I decide I want straight hair and can't achieve it. So it's one of those things. Um, yeah, so those, those I always pack. I also always pack two sets of bobby pins, the long ones and the shorter ones. My clear hair ties, I usually just take this whole thing and just throw it in the suitcase so I have hair ties. Um, and uh, yeah, I usually make sure and pack at least one long stick and an extra set of shorter hair sticks. You never know. Um, but yeah, bobby pins, hair ties, and a stick. You can do a ton of stuff with just that. And those are the things that I would definitely recommend you probably would need to invest in first. Um, you know, a decent pin. Even if it's, you decide to go with, you know, spin pins or magic grips or, you know, whichever pins you like, you need a set of pins. You need some hair ties and sticks are good because that's the quickest way to get your hair up and out of the way. Or fork, like I'm wearing a uh, fork today. You know, they're really fast. Um, for like Nautilus bun, Infinity bun, things like that, one stick buns are great because you can get it up and out of your way in no time. Um, but like I said, you don't have to buy expensive hair sticks. You can get a pair of pencils or a set of chopsticks. Um, just sand them so that they're really smooth so they don't catch your hair. That's all. Um, but yeah, with those things, you should be fine. Um, other than that, it's really up to you, you know, what you want to invest in. Like, I have invested in many sparkly things, but I love sparkly things, and they're just kind of my deal. Um, but this is almost all of my hair stuff. Um, I do have some flowers and uh, little birds and butterflies and stuff that I picked up at Michael's, but they're in the bedroom, and it's a mess, so you can't see that. So, um, yeah, but again, it's not things that you need. It's just extra stuff to dress up whatever you're doing. Um, so yeah, get pins, get hair ties, and get a set of hair sticks, and you should be good to go. Um, most of my hairstyles, I don't use many more things than that, you know, unless it's something complicated like uh, taping, which you'll need a ribbon and a needle and that kind of thing, but, you know, that's really up to you. Um, so yeah, so I guess that's it for this portion of the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, I suppose. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, and if you're wondering about hair products, just in case, because I know some of you are, are big into that. Um, my hair products, you can see my ton of Aussie stuff. I have hairspray and mousse and various shine sprays. Um, and then over here, um, I have other stuff. That's my generic Nexus, um, my jojoba oil, coconut oil, argan oil. Yeah, it's kind of, I have potions. I have hair potions. But that's pretty much my, my bag. That's it for me for the most part. I know you probably can't see me, but I have my things set up. There we go. Um, so any hoodles, I suppose we should go back to the main part of the vlog then. Alrighty. Uh, Alrighty. That? Well, we're back from that. Hopefully that was informative. It was very shaky. I know because as I was filming it, it was just, yeah, I did handheld. So I probably should have put it on the tripod. Any hoodles. Um, so yeah, I just, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I guess that's the answer to that, isn't it? Um, you need some pins, you need some hair ties and you know, set of sticks or a fork or something and you should be good to go. Um, you don't need a lot of stuff. 
to make your hair look beautiful. Um, but ooh, I'm getting texted. Um, yeah, you don't need a lot of stuff to make your hair look beautiful. But, um, you know, I have accrued a lot of things over the years just because I am a magpie and I like sparkly things. And I always look at things and think, hmm, can I put that in my hair? Um, invariably, the answer is yes. I can figure out a way to put it in my hair. Um, but, yeah. Uh, although bathroom organization is good, you will see that it is pretty well organized. So, good on me for being able to keep it so. Um, yeah. So, I know this isn't like the most fun vlog ever. Um, and that's okay. I don't have to be a pocket full of sunshine every day. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that we will be doing some hairstyles again soon. Um, but I just, I haven't left the house, so I haven't fixed my hair in very many pretty ways. Because why? <laughs> Nobody's going to see it. Um, I've tried a few things, but I just, yeah, nothing tutorialized. Nothing worth it. So, um, yeah, any hoodles. Alrighty, guys, uh, I will see you next time. And I hope that everybody's February has been better than mine. <laughs> um, until then, have a great day. I love you guys. Bye.